Hi, my name is Jack Hodgins. Um, we're going to talk about, we've done the unboxing in this, so we're going to talk about how to, we, how do we set this up on your network. So make sure, I'm just going to, this is what you need to do. It's difficult to have these in two different rooms because also you need to press one button and another button. So it's easy to, literally, these do work on the power strips. So if you have got a multiple adapter, these will work, work in them. So I'm going to use my multiple adapter up there just to get these paired up to work. And it's very simple an easy procedure to do, so we'll do that. So make sure your router's nearby, so um, so you can plug this one in. So this has to be near your router, okay? So then your, your router cable will plug in the bottom of here. This is gonna be located into whatever room you require extended Wi-Fi, or maybe you, you've got a PC, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, needs an ethernet port, but you've got, got no access in that room. So this is where this will go. So make sure you have a spare socket, or maybe a, a socket with a double adapter on there. So not try these between two multiple adapters. So, um, but I think it's it's all one circuit. It doesn't set instruction doesn't really sort of say it won't work on multiple adapters. It shows a diagram how it does. But it's going to be very very straightforward. So what I'm going to do first of all is take the master one, plug that into your power strip, and then power on. Okay, so it all powers up, and then take the other one, plug it into the other power strip next to it and power up basically. It's very straightforward that is. And I'm gonna show you how to pair it up. You don't have to know any programming, so anybody can do this. Um, the only programming involved is when you want to do something particular for your own network or you want to change the SSID. But apart from that, it's straight out of the box, works fine. So I'm just gonna turn the camera, pound, camera around so you can get a better view of what we're gonna do next to show how you pair these devices together. So this is how you do it. Right, plug one. And switch on. I'm going to plug in the other one and we switch on basically. Straightforward, nice and easy. So, to get these um, pairing up, very straightforward. Don't plug anything just yet. These lights up here, make sure the light's on. So, to pair up, press the pair button here once on this button, button here. So, it's just located there. Press it once and this light here, or all things from this light here, just start flickering, which is power lights. Do the same on the box here. Underneath, it's located just underneath here. Push it, and then this light here should start flashing, which is the power light. So the power, both power lights should start flashing. If you give it a, um, 10 seconds or so, they should then go a solid green like this on the power, lines, power lights here. So any top, top lights you're looking at, they will then go solid green. That's basically them paired together. So they're now, now, they're now linked, okay? So now all you need to do is then you, you can safely now Take this, put that into a plug socket next to your router. Take your router cable, like I've got here, plug that into the bottom, like so. And if it's all connected up right, it's plugged in the other end, okay, we should start seeing a green light button on the very bottom one. There. So you your top one, power light, middle one is um, connection, and the bottom one is your Ethernet connection. So it should flash like that, a little bit of flash. That's basically saying the internet's now going through into the socket and it's passing down over to this one here. So then take this to the, to the room where you want to have Wi-Fi extended or whether you've got a, a laptop or a PC that can't use Wi-Fi, so you're gonna use the cable to connect it instead. So plug it in, power it on, make sure this light goes green solid and these are flashing nicely. That's the Wi-Fi light, just basically saying it's broadcasting, it's Wi-Fi. So if that's successful, then all you need to do is take your, your little TP-Link card that came with the box, and so you've got your online iPad or a laptop, and you want to connect wirelessly to it, search for the wireless network ID number on the bottom here. Yours will be different to mine. And uh, then use the password, and it will connect. So that's on iPhones, iPads, tablets, any wireless device, use that. Um, if you've got a PC that um, hasn't got a wired device and needs using a hard cable, take the cable. Doesn't matter which one you plug in the bottom, this comes with two Ethernet cables. So you can in theory have two devices on a wired cable. So take your cable, plug it into one of the bottom, and then you should have your bottom Ethernet light, oh, sorry, the Ethernet light up here. So that's that one there. That should so go solid green. And then it'll start flashing to show internet activity. Doesn't matter if all these other little lights start flashing quite a bit. As long as your power light green that um, basically stays solid, that indicates you've got a solid connection between the two, the two devices. And then you might find the rest of these other two may go a bit a little mental, basically, which is the internet traffic going across both devices. So that's how it, that's how easy it is to literally set these up. They're pre-configured. It's just 
push the two buttons. In the old days, you would have to pair them up using the software, but it's easy as, as a pie. This doesn't generate any IP address automatically, so it's straightforward and nice and easy, because before, they used to generate their own IP, which caused conflicts with routers. But these now come pre-configured without, without those sort of settings on there, so you can happily plug them in, pair them up, plug devices in, connect to the Wi-Fi on it, and away you go. And it's all part of the same network. So nice and simple. So that's all I've got time for today. So I hope that's nice and easy. Um, from that point onwards, um, you can um, literally, um, I will show you some more videos soon on these power lines. The TP link uh, power lines are very easy to use and they are very much cheap to use as well. But it's just as good as the expensive ones. So if you're on a tight budget and you need to extend your network around the house a bit further using Wi-Fi or cabling without running all the cables all over the place basically, make use of what's already there, then these boxes are ideal for you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a few more of these boxes because um, I fancy trying out um, doing another video very, very soon where we can have where we've purchased an, ex an, an extra one of these for another room. So maybe maybe you need a few in each room. Uh, maybe one's not enough. So we'll buy a few more of these and we'll do a video of actually how to pair more than one device up to your master socket. So you can have these put around all over your flat or house you have basically, which makes it quite nice. And there's no, there's no limit on um, where they plug into because the old style used to be very much, you had to put it into the actual physical plug socket. But with these boys don't need to put it into the ex um, these uh, multi-extension leads basically. You can buy these with pass-through ones, um, so they can sit on the main socket with a pass-through for additional plugs. Um, so you can buy these in various different uh, formats as well. But we'll um, get another one of these, we'll connect it all up for you and we'll show you how easy they are to work with. But um, no, Stew Wagon, I think these are... Um, just they're, aren't, they're I think about 60 quid but the BT ones coming out just over 100 pounds so these are really good and I will stick with the TP links but we'll get some more ones in so you can actually check and we'll, we'll we'll do some speed tests a bit later on it's a very new channel very new IT channel so we do some lots of unboxings and when we, when when you guys start coming on and start linking up and liking we may do some advanced stuff as well so remember if you enjoyed this video you want to see more of this please remember to subscribe comment below remember to do a thumbs up and we'll keep getting these videos going and if you've got any questions guys please comment below and i will answer as i'll answer all the comments that have been put on my channel for any of the videos so if you'd like to see more or you've got a particular uh, product you're not sure of let me know and i'll see if i can help you so until next time thanks for watching remember to hit that subscribe button and see you soon cheers